When you see this icon, pause the presentation, restart when you're ready. The eSkull National 5 Gaelic Learners course was developed with the help of the following bodies. Work. Ober. Talking about work in Gaelic. Now, the most important language point probably to come out of this whole section here is the use of the verb is. An is stands alongside the other common verb which we've looked at so far, be. Is or be, or really in the forms that you're going to be used to using them, she or ha. She and ha. Now you already use is or its other common form she with things like saying your name. So is Misha Paul or she padrig in tenemaha eir. Is Misha Paul, she padrig in tenemaha eir. So we don't say things like ha Misha, you say is Misha. And that's because, in a sense, is or she work like an equal sign. So a equals b, she, a, b, no, she, b, a, hal, and a. And we've seen this one used with talking about places also. She, bale, be, a, hal, she, in, an, a, line, a, hal, if you go back and look at when we describe where we live. So we, the best way to think about this is that you use ha to describe. So ha, e, for, it is cold, but is to define. She la fuad a hound. It is a cold day. It is a day that is cold. It is a cold day. It's not just happens to be cold, but the day is cold. And we're not used to doing that in English. But in a sense, you have to get used to a rough rule of thumb is using she for defining things. So use is or she with nouns and use ha with verbs and the adjectives. That's the best way to really describe it at the moment. So there's your question triangle. Anye, she, chanye. Anye, she, chanye. You look at the examples at the bottom. Anye wa ma ahal. Is it a good day? Anye wa ma ahal. She, yes. She wa ma ahal. It is a good day. Anye wa ma ahal. She, she wa ma ahal. In your Callum in Tenema Horst, is your name Pat Callum? Chanye, no. Is Misha Patrick? I'm Patrick. In your Callum in Tenema Horst, Chanye, is Misha Patrick? So get very used to saying this when you're talking about nouns. Use she or Chanye. In ye, she, Chanye. And this is very important when we're talking about Obrichen or Triochen. Obrichen, jobs. Driachen, careers. And here's a list of jobs. Hopefully it's clear what they are. Polis, polis, clocher, clocher, doctor, a nurse. There's the Gaelic for a farmer is a tuanach, tuanach. And a kreutcher is a crofter, kreutcher, the small holding farmers common in the islands, highlands and islands. Kochere, kochere. Olanach, a student, olanach. Scheineter, a singer, scheineter. Teacher, nech chikisch. Teacher, nech chikisch. A welder, or tahater, welder, tahater. Runere, a secretary. Runere. Manager, a manager. Mechanic or engineer. Mechanic, engineer. Quite similar in sound to the English. Nech science. Nech science. A scientist. Nech yelling. An artist. Nech yelling. More obrichen or jobs. Nech smally. Nech smally. Fireman. Fire person. Pilot, 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 and a skipper, captain, skipper. Nechlug, a lawyer, nechlug, lawyer, brief, judge. Driver, easy one that one. Then we have shawater, or a marija. Shawater, marija, a sailor, and a mariner. Anybody who works on a boat, really. 
Minister, minister, sagast, the priest. Minister, sagast. Nech neoch, a journalist. Nech neoch, literally a news person. Sir, a carpenter or a joiner. Sir, plumber, a plumber, plumber. Buachile is a cowboy or a cowherd or sometimes a shepherd. Buachile, also because that emoji is quite cool. I like it. Kluchadar Balkosha is a football player. So Kluchadar Rugby would be a rugby player. Iaskar, a fisherman. Iaskar. There's two common words for an actor. Klesiche, Klesiche and actor. You also see the word Kluchadar, just a player used for an actor as well. But Klesiche and actor. Speridar, an astronaut. Speridar. And a Krulader broadcaster. There are other jobs um, that are worth checking up in the Green Cayman in book, but that's a good list of Obrichen and Driochen going forward. So Jane Obert Aket, what job do you have? So somebody asks you what job you have, they'll quite often ask you, Jane Obert Aket, what job do you have? And it uses that question, Aket, what do you have? However, you reply not using Akam, but with another prepositional pronoun. And here are some examples. She polis ahunim. I am a policeman. She polis ahunim. She doctor ahunid. Are you a doctor? She and ye doctor ahunid. She. Chanyen yach yawain ahinja. She's not an artist. Chanyen yach yawain ahinja. She mechanic ahal. He is a mechanic. She mechanic a hound. He is a mechanic. And she teach it a hound and kawam. Malcolm is a teacher. She teach it a hound and kawam. Again, we only use those prepositional pronouns when we have a don't have a name to use. Now the prepositional pronouns al. The preposition own is the same as in that we've used before, and we, it's very important when talking about jobs. And uh, the same way that it works with own um with BPFM and owns for the article you'll see in the examples there on the right hand side. She nurse a hound and behak. Rebecca is a nurse. And she tuanach a hound's echyanard kujok. The head teacher is a farmer also. She tuanach a hound's echyanard kujok. But that list there again follows the me, u, e, e, sheen, shave, eid pattern. Unum, uned, aun, insha, unin, unav. Aunter, anum, aned, aun, inche, anin, anev, aunter. Go, repeat that after me. Anum, aned, aun, inche, anin, anev, aunter. So going back, you might want to look back a slide actually, but um, what you're going to use is you're going to use those things there to those prepositional pronouns there to enter hengi kagale, translate to Gaelic these sentences. So once you feel secure, you're going to use the prepositional pronouns. So pause it, fill it in, and then check out your answers on the next slide. So far Ash, here are the answers. So you'll notice there, onam, shen teacher, or shen yech chikish, and so on and so forth. Again, show your answers to a, a fluent speaker, if you're not sure, a tutor, or a teacher. Now, we looked at plurals when we looked at pets um, back in the sixth lesson, um, but we're also going to look here at jobs, if you want to talk about more than one person. Um, jobs are also another good way to familiarise with yourself with how the plural, the various ways the plural works in Gaelic. Now, most in Gaelic will just aim simply by putting the word, the sound un at the end, either spelled E-A-N, if the last vowel before it is a slender, and A-N, if the last vowel before it is broad. So, Klesiche becomes Klesichen, Klacher becomes Klacherin, Iasker becomes Iaskerin. And um, you also get words ending in Ach, again, change to Ich as per usual. So Tuanich, Tuanich is the Gaelic for farmers. Tuanich. Now you'll notice though, uh, back when we looked at the Obrichen earlier on, that there was a lot that started with the word Nech, and Nech is the word for person. Quite often in the old days it used to be fed, as in a man, but of course with political correctness and progress, 
we now just use the word nyech, the gender neutral nyech. And nyech turns to ucht. Ucht, not ucht, as in a mouse, but ucht, as in people. So ucht chigishk is teachers. Ucht smali is firemen or fire people, sorry, fire officers. And ucht wugga are lawyers. Ucht chigishk, ucht smali, and ucht wugga. You also know that nurse becomes nurse here. Makes it nice and long, but anyway. So you can apply them here in these ones here. Edinhingi good Gaelic. So again, you're translating from English to Gaelic. A little more challenging than going from Gaelic to English. And you can pause it, and once you're ready, you'll find your answers on the next slide. So Thab Chirash, here's the answers to that. You'll notice that quite a lot of them were building on work we'd done previously, but it gives you an example how to use the plurals. Remember, it's not as simple as bugging an S on the end in Gaelic. But there is a pattern which you will hopefully begin to see emerging. Now, is is the present tense, so you could also use in the future. Um, there's a past tense form of is, and it's boo. And boo. And um, we're just showing this for reference at the moment. It will appear in other phrases, but it's good for you to know it at the moment. Is changes to boo in the past tense, and this shortens to be in front of vowels. Um, so you see, instead of saying a nye, she, chanye, you go un be, be, chabe. And what you also have to do is you need to change a hound, because that ha is ha, it changes to va or va ao. And sometimes you'll you sometimes will see and hear she a vowel, she teacher a vowel, he was a teacher, but you should really belt and basis approach use be as well. So if you look at the examples at the bottom, and bella ma a vowel, was it a good day? Be Bella ma a vowel. And be doctor a vowel, ha be. Bit nurse about. So don't worry too much about the structure at the moment. We're only giving it for reference, um, but it's good for you to know. Now, going back to straightforward stuff, we now know how to see what our job is. She ahanam. But the next one is very straightforward. It's where do you work? Catch evelu the cooper. Where do you work? So you already know how to answer catch evelu the furo. So answering Kachibilu Gubba is really, really easy. You just replace a Furuk with a Gubba. And you do everything exactly the same. So Kachibilu Gubba, the policeman, so you speak to a policeman, he replies, Hami a Gubba, Alnan Station Polis. Hami a Gubba, Alnan Station Polis. He works in a police station. So for example, Kachibilu Furuk, Hami Furuk, Alnan Striwai. Kachibilu Gubba, Hami Gubba, Alnan Station Polis. Catchville Runage a Cooper, where does Rachel work? Catchville Runage a Cooper. Hi a Cooper, on the Tayosta. She works in a hotel. Catchville Runage a Cooper, hi Cooper on Tayosta. So you have to have your L none, or whichever is the most appropriate one for the spelling of the word, and you just replace a Furoch with a Cooper. And here's some Achichet Ubrok, some workplaces. So here's a list, we'll go through them. Offish, Offish, Hospital. Hospital, Unit Swanje, Unit Swanje, Station Smalley, Station Smalley, Station Polish, Station Polish, Skull, Boon Skull, Ard Skull, Boon Skull, Ard Skull, Garage, Garage, Garig, Garig, Taibi, Taibi, Tayost, Tayosta, Taystala, Taystala, Factory, Factory. And they were all ones you would say Alnan or Alnam. Hami Gubert Alnan Hospital, I work in a hospital. Hami Gubert Alnan Garig, I work in a yard. Hami Gubert Alnan Tayosta, I work in a hotel. But there are places as well that don't use Alnan. So some use Egg at and some use Air. So Igmur at sea, Igmur. Eren Rad on the road. Eir Bata on a boat. Eir Tuanis on a farm. Eir Achroich on the croft. Eir Achroich. Eir Bat Iaskich on a fishing boat. Eir Bat Ashik on a ferry. Egan Hui at the house or literally at home. Egan Hui. Eir Fjog in Ach all over the place. And Eir Fjog in Hul. All over the world, if you're in 
You'll also see just how you go around in your niche. She works in Inverness. How you go around Glasgow. She works in Glasgow. So we have a little bit of work to do here. Uh, again, these are translated to English. So just take your time, uh, pause the slide and move on when you're ready. Here we have the answers to that previous slide. How did you get on? Check your answers with somebody if you wish at a later point. And here's the next one. You're going to answer these questions. These questions are in Gala. Catchable de Cooper. Where do they work? Catchable de Cooper. So, for example, Shinyak Smali, Halman Ian. Catchable de Cooper. Shichicha Frangish, Halman Mari. Catchable de Cooper. Shidokter, Halman Fjungwig. Catchable de Cooper. And she potach the nalak. Halman Santa. Catchable de Cooper. She potach the nalak. Halman Santa. Catchable de Cooper. So you answer the questions, write them out in Gaelic. And there you have the answers. Hopefully you got them correct. And then half a dog monolic. Go bit of a fall of two. Now we looked at B as using B, using B to talk about things that we do regularly in lesson eight. So again, remember we can use B for the future, like a B me a plate ball kosher jasarnia, I won't be playing football on Saturday. But if we played football regularly on a Saturday, we could say be me a plate ball kosher jasarnia. It's all about context. I play football on Saturdays. So um in this one, so remember if you ask the question and B, you can answer B and you negatively have So be a plate ball kosher. B, be me a plate kakwa. Do you play football? Yes, I play football every day. Be a gearskoch. Chavi, chatalame. Do you fish? No, I don't like it. So, un b b chavi. So, we've covered that before. Uh, revisit uh, lesson 8 if you require it. But we're moving on here. We're going to ask you some questions. So, here's a little things to ask you. Remember, just yes or no, b chavi. So, ask and answer these questions about what you do regularly. In bio gichifyal. Do you eat meat? In bio gichifyal. In bio chloe computer. And be you brewing garlic. And be you gish jock at Kill Rock. And be you cake Netflix. And be you a gold coffee. JV is to a Gianu. What do you do? JV is to a Gianu. Now notice how B changes in the question form here. This only happens in the habitual future tense. We've covered it already. G V is to Gianu. It's called the relative form. And the habitual present tense, as we say, is useful for things you do all the time. So very useful when talking about your job. And you'll see on the right hand side some vocabulary that we're going to go through. A goberly etiquette. Be me a goberly etiquette. I work with money. Be me a gober colory doing it. I work with people. So if you look at the NB on the, on the left hand side, when talking about with in Gaelic, you use lay for objects and colory for people. So we've already looked at it. So that's how we go. Lay for objects, colory for people. A bruin ritung, speak to people. A bruin ritung. A gober amui, be me a gober amui, I work outside. Be ein a skrivig litrichen. John writes letters. Be eyeing a skrivig litrichen. Be mari a gober colory clown. Mary works with children. Be mari a gober colory clown. Be me a guanig. I clean. I'm cleaning. Be me a gober a gmur. I work at sea. Be me a drivig. I drive. So remember to use B for things that you do all the time. You can get away with using ha, but as you work for National 5, you want to be using B to talk about your daily routine because it's more sophisticated, it's a more advanced structure, and you should be trying to you know, to use it. So here's uh, another slide, Eter Hingich Geberla, translate to English. So work through that one, and then when you're ready, after pausing it, move on to the next slide for your answers. And there are the answers. Now, Cunha V is to Janu X. We've already done Cunha How Janu X when we're looking at the time. So if you need to go back, you can look at uh, 7 
and that will, lesson seven, and that will help you with revising the time if you require. But instead of saying kunya hau jianu, we're going to look at kunya vias to jianu rudigan. So kunya vias to jianu sho gahua. When do you do this every day? So we've got a few more pieces of information, a bit more vocabulary here. A dolgu uber going to work. Be me dolgu uber ek shak uren. I go to work at seven. A toshuk starting. A toshuk. Be me a toshuk ek karsjo gunai. I start at quarter to nine. Now the word ekriach nahug is the guy for finishing or ending, but the word for finished is jishal. Ekriach nahug. Jishal. Be me jishal ek kuig uren feske. Be me a kriach nahug ek kuig uren feske. I'm finished and I'm finishing at 5 p.m. A kanyahug ri meeting. Be me a kanyahug ri carriage ek uer. I meet a friend at one o'clock. Be me a kanyahug ri carriage ek uer. And of course, a good hard day's work is never the same without a good cup of tea. Be me a gal struhbach ek fichet minage gurus jirg. I have a cup of tea at 20 to 11. Be me a gal struhbach ek fichet minage gurus jirg. So again, here are some translation exercises. Translate these ones into English. And when you're ready, move on to the next slide to get your answers. And there's the answers to the previous slide. Thought you dash, just make, tick them off. Again, show your answers to somebody if you want anything clarified. And here's a writing uh, one again now. This will be based on something you've done previously, but in this one, can you this to hain janu x? This is talking about your, this is a bit of revision, talking about your daily routine. A do's gig, waking up, Gary getting up, so on and so forth. So try and write an, an answer, but do use B instead of ha for writing about what you do on a regular basis in the morning. Now there is a lot of content within this video, so make sure that you've got this coming up. Enjoyment, korst, present tense, korstigrut. Avail ex a korstigrut. Now in Gaelic, something, enjoyment, something which happens to you. So what do you have here? In Gaelic, enjoyment is something which happens to you, so therefore we use the preposition re. Avail ex a korstig do. Avail ex a korstig root. Do you enjoy X? Ha X a korstig root. Chaniel X a korstig root. So what the really implication of this one, about talking about your enjoyment, is it's a thing that, that is enjoyable to you. And the X represents the subject. But because of this as well, Although that's a slightly awkward way because it's slightly different from the patterns we've looked at previously, you're still starting your sentence with your question with a veil. So your yes and your no are simply ha and chaniel. So, for example, do you enjoy swimming? Is a veil snab a course de grout? Is swimming enjoyable to you? A veil snab a course de grout? Ha, ha e a course de grout? Yes. It is enjoyable to me. A veil snab a course de grout. Ha ha e a course de grout. A veil big absolute. A veil bear what a course de grout. Do you enjoy English or is English enjoyable to you? Chanel. Chanel a course de grout eacher. No, I don't enjoy it at all. It's not enjoyable to me at all. A veil bear what a course de grout. Chanel. Chanel a course de grout. So look at this one. Study this one. Say avail x a course de grout, ha x a course de grout, chaniel x a course de grout. So try and avoid using me after ha in this situation. And here's some uh, translation exercises for you to do. Try and work through them. There's some reasons given as well. So translate this. Once you're ready, move on to the next slide to um, see what your answers were. And Falcha Arash answers. There we have them. So hopefully that all makes sense to you. And a course that works with the prepositional pronoun re. 
Now, re is used for to, and as we already looked earlier on, we saw about colory being used for with as well. And in that sense, re is used a lot with people. And it's used, Vamia Bruin Re Callum. I was talking to Malcolm, Vamia Bruin Re Callum. Hamia Cunyahug Re Mari. I am meeting Mary. Hamia Cunyahug Re Mari. And Re turns into Reish before the article. A balkosha, a korstig shivanager. The manager enjoys football. A balkosha, a korstig shivanager. So again, if you look on the left hand side, the prepositional pronouns. Follow the same pattern as always, the me, u, e, e, shin, shiv, eid pattern. And in this case, it goes rum, rucht, rish, ria, rein, rive, rua. Rum, rucht, rish, ria, rein, rive, rua. Or in this case, repeat that after me. Rum, rucht, rish, ria, rein, rive, rua. Now, here's another set of translations. A lot of content in this lesson, so well done, keep going. And this will probably take you a, a few hours to do this, this course, this part of the course, but it's well worth it. Eder Hengi Guberla, translate to English. So take your time, pause the slide, and when you're ready, uh, move on to the next slide to check out your answers. And here are the answers for that slide previously. So moving on, here's a little talk exercise you can do. Now remember, because it's a veil, you just need to use ha or hanyel to say yes or no. The only issue is, is that if you may make a sentence, you have to remember that the thing that you enjoy comes second after the verb, not yourself. So a veil, garlic, a cord. I just answer these questions. If you want to say just yes or no, ha or hanyel. But if you want to reply in a sentence, you either say ha, garlic, a corstigrum, or hanyel, garlic, a corstigrum. So answer these questions. We will see them, um, or see them to yourself or with a partner. I will garlic a course the group. I will TV a course the group. I will kill rap a course the group. I will koshuk a course the group. I will dance a course the group. So that's a course stick. Um, but we're going to look at, before we move on to the next part of looking a little bit more about a core stick, we're going to look at some more briericha, some more um, work related vocab. Um, Parshtunye, parthija, part time. Wanunye, or wanhija, full time. Touristal is the Gaelic for a wage or a salary. Touristal. But you can also use the word peg, pay. Uch fasti, our employers, uch fasti. And again, you could say nech fasti would be an employer. And nech obroch is a worker. Uch obroch would be workers. We've already looked at the fact that nech is used for one person. Uch for older, eh, for puro. Apologies. And kijan are taxes unavoidable, of course. Kijan when you do work. So, using korsdig with ober, we can use some of that vocabulary from that previous slide to talk about our reasons for liking or enjoying our job. A bit of a course to group. Do you enjoy the work, job? So here are some examples, translate them into English. And again, once you're finished, move on to the next slide and you'll be able to answer it. So pause it and move on later. Balche and Ash, here are the answers. Take time to pause the slide if you wish and correct your working. Here's a writing. So a very nice little starter to you. Just uh, you're going to answer these uh, three questions. Jeno Berahakit, Kachibilu Kuper, and J Vs2 Echianu. So in this example, we've got a polis, and they reply, She polis uhunum. Hami Gober, and then station polis, and then in your niche. Be me a drive a car, I guess a brood, return you. So what would be the way to do is to do that for yourself. Choose a job, if do your own job, or if you don't have a job yet, just choose one. and Or choose one from the list that we've done and do a little profile like that. Now, here on the right hand side are six uh, different jobs. Um, choose one. 
and you are going to again do what you've done there answer them in the first person so again you're using anam and me and choose one of the six jobs that we've done we've covered and answer the questions do you know berhaget kachabilu gobar and jvs2 at janu use the previous example to help you and once you're done move on to the next slide now, an extension here would be to make a profile for two of the jobs, perhaps the two that you haven't done, and answer the questions in the third person. So, Jane Tenemaha Eir or Jane Tenemaha Orer? Jane Obaraha Eke or Jane Obaraha Eke? Kachevil E a Gober, Kachevil E a Gober. And Javis E a Gianu, Javis E a Gianu. So, making up a list of what people do and talking about people in the third person. Now here's a good talk exercise. School reunion. Imagine you've not seen people for a long time. You're going to do this, you would have a suitable greeting. Oh, Fisker Ma, Fisker Ma. This sat of an ocean, a long time no see. Oh, a smart day, good to see you. And you could ask the person where they live now. Catch a velu a furoch, anish. Then you could reply, you could say, oh, I have a furoch on anish, I live in Inverness. Ask them what their job is. What's your job now? Once they've told you, you could ask them, where do you work? Ask them what they do. And you could always ask them, do you enjoy your work? And then re revisiting a little bit of vocabulary that we looked at previously, you could ask them if they want a drink. What will you have? So here's a help slide to help you if you don't want if you want a little bit of steering on how to do that previous one. There we have them. Kachivilu a furokanish. Do you know about a hackatanish? Kachivilu a cooper. Chivis to a gianu. A villain ober. A course to group. A g gas to. So quite a long and in depth role play, but one that's well worth doing and practicing with as many people as possible. We're moving towards the end of this rather long video, but another piece of information is that we need to know if we're talking about work is when, we, when we've done something. Rain, I did. Rain. Now that comes from the past tense of gian, do or make. And this is a past tense verb which we haven't encountered before, but we are going to have to learn to use in quite a few different situations. Rain is did, had the rain, did not, yes, no. And the question under rain, did you do or did you make? Under rain, Nushin, rain, had the rain. Under rain, rain, had the rain. Under rain, you cake, rain, rain, me cake. And the rain you an upper, had the rain, vami ski. And the rain you an upper, had the rain, vami ski. And we're going to use the word rain with this term, yolus uproch, yolus uproch. And yolus is the Gaelic for knowledge. You'll have seen it when you've done school subjects. Yolus uproch means work experience. Now. Work experience isn't as common in schools as it once was, but it doesn't necessarily mean that specific work experience placement. It just means the experience of work that you have. So, I did work experience in a shop. I did work experience in an office. Now, you can add on the amount of time you did it for. For six months. Raimi Yawas Obroch an den Bü ersen Schier Miasen. Raimi Yawas Obroch an den Office ersen Blilne. I did work experience in an office for a year. Raimi Yawas Obroch ersen Kawajig. I did work experience for a fortnight. And here are some translation exercises to help you just embed that Rain Hatterain um, vocabulary. Pause the slide and move on when you're ready. And here are your answers. 
So just connect them, see how you got on. It's quite advanced Gallic at this stage, but it's well worth knowing and using it in the context of work. So to finish off, you need to do a little work profile about yourself and you can base this on work you've done previously. And in this case, you're just looking at what your job is, where you work, what you do, when you start, when you finish, and do you enjoy the job, and why? Geno bera hakit, ka che ve lua gober, ge vias tu e gianu, cunye vias tu e toshkla, cunye vias tu jesha, a ve lan ober kors de grut, karson. So try and do the work profile on the right hand side, as an example, she polis a honum, ha me gober an station polis an an inner niche. Be me a try the car, a gase pere in the thing. Be me a tosh a hook, ek shach uar in seratain, ma dis trike. Be me a jisho, mu hia uar in. Han opet a kors de grup, or hai piohol, a gase eint noch. So once you're done, you can finish that work profile. Again, show it to your tutor or teacher, and then you're ready to finish this rather long lesson. So, tap alive. Well done for staying with this video. It's a long one, but and with a lot of content, but a lot of stuff that will be very useful to you going forward. Tap alive, Cheerio.